What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're working on a Civic. We got a new trunk setup coming right now, so you guys want to stay tuned. There will be a couple parts, part one, two, or three, maybe four, depending on what we're doing. But right now, we're doing this uh, right before the race war is coming up in June. In the intro clip, you did see my original trunk setup, so I started pulling this apart already. Um, I got a new uh, tank from Auto Fashioning. Seamless tank, 24 inch, black, um, black um, brackets. And then we got some material in right here. So one of the small floorboards are gonna get wrapped in that. I'm um, also gonna wrap that around the tank right here in the center and then the compressors as well. First things first, let's air out everything, tank, uh, the bags, and then unplug the battery. Here we go. I was aired, aired out. Um, make sure you do label your lines so that way it doesn't get all mixed up. So we're just gonna go ahead and take everything out. Um, tank is gonna come loose. And yeah, let's take this apart because we need those compressors. So we got the compressors out. So we're laying it out on 3 4 MDF board. So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna put this on the bracket right here. Okay, so I'm gonna have a hard lines from that distance coming down. So I'm thinking these two middle ones, I'm gonna come down and twist them down. The two outer ones, I'm gonna come down, up, and go down this way. So you guys wanna stay tuned. I'm gonna show you guys how I do the hard lines and what tools you're gonna need. So right now we're just measuring the area for the floorboard to see um, if it's gonna fit in the spare tire area. So we're gonna see it fitting in this area right here. Um, and then as you can see, I do have two by four wood right there. I have more, I bought another eight foot wood right there just in case. But yeah, that's how you raise your floorboards. You wanna put two by fours under the, um, the floorboard that you're making. So you can either set it up this way, or if you need higher, go higher and add some more wood if you need it just to go higher. So we're just gonna cut this flooring out. So we're probably gonna um, use a ruler, cut this, cut that all around. We're probably gonna add some two by fours under this just to raise this board up. So let's get to work. So now we made our markings um, almost perfectly even with our marks. So we're gonna cut this out right there, save this part of the MDF board because I need to add to that bottom board. We're using that bottom board as a template just to make that bottom board, um, top board over this area. So this is gonna be sunk in under the top board. The top floor board, I'm gonna do forged carbon on it. So can't wait to show you guys. All right, so we are using a jigsaw with a, um, that's a wood cutter, Diablo brand. But we got that side, let's chop this side off. All right, we're doing a little test fit right now. So that'll be as far the tank goes in the back, compressors in the front. So the opening will be much smaller than this area right here so so i may draw like a little template and and maybe draw it two inches smaller and that'll be the top cover and i think that'll be straight right there all right so i forgot to tell you guys so with this car uh nine gen civic um the spare tire well is not in the center so which means there's more area on this side. So we need to try to make this more this side, but you don't have that much play right here. So we might have to shave some of this wood out here just to slide it over more to the right, but which is gonna mess up the placement on everything. So we're gonna test fit the compressor and see what happens. But this thing has to be shifted. Otherwise, look, you don't see it in the center, right? In order for it to look clean, it needs to be in the center. So instead of cutting this, we're just offsetting this to the center, 
All right, so we're gonna make um, some sideboards to cover the sides, and this part will be like diagonal going up. Um, so we do have the two by fours on the side. So we add extra wood at the bottom. It should clear the top board, lining up to almost right here, which should be fine. Um, so now we just position where we want this. We'll drill on here. And then, um, yeah, we're gonna take this board out. And then start making the um, the side cutoffs and then do another test fit. Um, we'll mess with the hard lines later. Well, let's just get all this flooring work good. And then for the back, it might be a step up. We're gonna make the subs diagonal going this way. And then so it'll be slightly facing upwards for the two subs on the left and the right. It's not centered. Either. All right, so we're gonna switch this around. Tank at the bottom. So in order for us to create the illusion, we're gonna move the this tank bracket in more right so they're only gonna see through it what i cut out on top so they're gonna think it's centered but it's not going to be but we're gonna do it based off the brackets so that's the only way to make it look like it's centered and as long as the compressors are centered right there um with this then it should look centered period by looking at it from the top so we're gonna trim this down a little bit and get this board to fit in there All right guys, so check this out. So we got the center right here. Don't focus on that left side of the tank. I moved the brackets towards this way. So from the center area, it's about 13 inches. And then the center of the brackets is about six and a half. So right now we did line it up about, so don't worry about the left edge of here. So that's pretty much centered right there. So manifold is gonna get mounted on here. I'm gonna run some hard lines going down to the left to the left we'll see but right now then i need to mark the placement of where everything is right now so that way i could pull it off um i could drill into it and there are some two by fours laying flat right under here so it's not moving the board's pretty solid but i am going to screw those two by fours under this mdf board so this is going to be the setup um you on the top floorboard you're not going to um, see the sides like that we are gonna add a board on the back and the side right here. Well, these are not. So I'm just gonna cut out what you see by the uh, brackets. That way you won't see the unevenness of the bra uh, of the tank and the whole setup. So we're just gonna try to um, create something that they'll see that it's centered when theoretically it's it's not. But again, it's because of the spare tire well is uneven. As you can see, it's more. Um, area to the width to the left versus to the right it's more uh, thinner all right so everything is marked the outer lines outer lines up here right now we're marking the holes you see the outer lines down on there so after that gets done we can pull everything off and then grab the two by fours and mount it to the bottom of this MDF we got it all marked Replacing the wood back in here. I'm gonna put some 3M tape on it and then put the board right back on it. And hopefully that thing sticks and it'll give us the position of where we want to mount the wood right under. All right, so you see the 3M tape? All right, let's put the MDF board. All right, MDF tank board going in. I'm gonna apply some pressure on that. And it's center it where we had it from before. Okay, we got the board in. Let's let the 3M sit a little bit, a few minutes, but it's not seesawing, so that's a good part. It's solid. All right, so this side is not staying, so we're just marking the, the lining of the wood, and we're gonna position it a bit further this way. It's only probably about a half inch in, so it should be cool. Three in that last two by four in. Oh, Kapawi. All right, so now we're gonna drill some pilot holes in the MDF and two by four. Then we got some wood screws. And let's keep that platform together right there so it doesn't move. So start off with a smaller bit, pilot hole. Um, so that way the wood doesn't split. Don't just wood screw directly. Otherwise the wood's gonna split. So we'll drill the pilot holes um, into the MDF 
and the 2x4 and then we'll drill these we'll sink these in um, you could use wood filler on top I did buy some just in case if I wanted to use it but you may not even see it for this one and just gonna be wrapped in carbon fiber fabric All right, so this is how your screw should look. It's pretty flush in. See it? So yeah, go ahead and do that all around. Do another test fit again. We got the two by four standing up. Um, we got the ruler, and now we're just gonna measure how high we're gonna make the, the back coverings of this bottom four panel. So the lowest part is about eight and five eighths. Yeah, about eight and five eighths. Eight and five eighths? Yeah, that's roughly. Okay, so we could probably make it about. 11 sixteenths. Eight and 11 sixteenths. Okay. Eight and 11 sixteenths. Is that exact or? Close to. Close to? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, so we got about um, eight and five eighths, but we're just going to make it eight and a half. Um, we don't need the, the backboard touching the top floorboard. So it should be fine, this is not going nowhere. It's on the two by four, so it's not rolling. We're just gonna mount these compressors on now, so that way we have a guidance of when we do make the board going up this way, that way, and this way. I'm only gonna cut out that top window on the main floorboard just to see the area. So right now we're measuring um, the side pieces right here. We are using the old floorboard that I had so we could save on wood because wood is expensive guys mm. this three-fourth wood is 30 bucks for just one yeah so right now we're about to do a 45 angle cut from the back side of here because we needed to clear this back area because it's hitting um, the point area is hitting right here going to the top so We'll go ahead and do that. All right, test fit. Bam, it clears the side. Let's go. All right, so right now he measured the distance from the edges right here. Doing the same, we're gonna mount a board going up here. It'll be slightly shorter than this side. So that way, when you look through it from the top, it looks like it's even. Um, even though the board is not even itself. We're actually just gonna chop off this top MDF so it's even and leave still leave the bottom wood under it and it should still keep the same position inside the trunk. That way we can still mount on the side the other wood panel. I'm gonna mount the sideboard right now, drill the pilot hole and we're gonna put the wood screw in. This side is drilled in again, sinking the screws, and we're good. What's up, boy? What up? Say what up, YouTube. What up, YouTube? Let them know who you are. What up? What's up? What's up? Let them know who are you. <laughs> You're outside. Huh? It's white body Ren. <laughs> Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, so while we wait for the battery charge for that, I already marked this is about four inches. Then we, uh, we need the same line height. So mark it about right here. Cut that out as soon as the battery is charged. Same thing, mount it up right there. Just finishing the last piece right there. And we're gonna mount this side up. And then if you see it from this side, yes, sir. Then we're gonna have our bottom floorboard on our under floorboard because there's still going to be a top floorboard on top so we did trace this one to save time onto a new mdf board maybe add a little um excess cut on the outer just in case we need to fill in some more gaps inside the trunk trim area so yeah it's coming together so um this will be closing out the part one very soon so we're just going to finish mounting this up 
show you how it looks with the tank and the compressors. And then we're going to see if we can try to finish that top floorboard with the cutout so you can just see right through it so you get the idea. So we drill it in. We got a bracket right here to hold this crease in right here. And then we're just going to use some screws. I'm going to bend this with the wrenches. All right, we got some self-tappers with the bracket bent. And we're going to hold that together. Back side is drilled. And cover the gap. Cool. All right, we got the last one cut out. Let's screw it in. One, two, three. So here is the test fit right now. It's looking very good. So now we're going to have to work on this top board. We already made the outline. So as far as cutting that center area right here. So I kind of want it like two inches or something before this. And then it'll cap like right here, the line of the border uh, of the bracket. So that way I'm thinking if you won't see the gap right here. Um, it'll be cut off. Same right here. And then the ending cutoff will probably end like right here. So you still see board right there and then just partial of the tank. So we need to figure out how we're going to do this. All right. So right now we're using the tape to outline this so tape lined up to the left side of the border of the bracket of the tank same right here and then we're going to use this width and go around the tape right there pull this tape off and put it directly on that board to cut out that center all right so this is what the opening is going to look like on the top board pretty cool um i didn't want to show the whole tank and this is obviously going to be wrapped in that new fabric I showed you guys. And compressors are going to be wrapped in that fabric. So we do need to make a board to block that part off. Same for this side. And we should be good. So we got the masking tape onto the poster board uh, paper. And we're just going to trace the inner. And that's our cutout on the main floorboard. All right, so we got our cut out. Check it out. Eee! But yeah, so now we're going to place this on top of MDF board, center it, and cut it out. And yeah, but we may do that in the next video. So you guys stay tuned for a part two. Then there will be a part three. I'm going to add a forged carbon, um, fabric, resin, uh, epoxy, and buff it out. And let's make this look clean. So stay tuned on to the next episodes as we rebuild the trunk setup for the fifth time on my 9th Gen Civic Si. All right, that's Jay Ron. What's up, y'all? Part of the Fusion Designs here, and we're just out here trying to help you guys with your DIY builds. So thank you guys for watching. Like this video if you like it, if I helped you out on the step-by-step -step, trying to build your own trunk using mdf um but just keep watching because we're gonna do some hard lines too. show you the tools that you need so hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed and let's get it next episode coming soon i'm out